Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we have another snack crate. Finally, a new one. You probably already know this, but Snack Crate is a subscription box and we get it every month. And it's a different country and you don't know what country it is so it's a surprise I don't know why I say finally it just feels like because it's so exciting to do snack rate it feels like a long time between each one but really it's just a month ordinarily yeah ordinarily but I think it's been a while since we've recorded one of these snack crates yeah, so that's why like it, it feels like yeah. yeah so you can't customize it in any way which is one of the things we like everything in this box is a complete surprise we've had a couple we've been getting snack crate for a couple of years now and we've only had a couple of duplicates we, I mean, and I don't think the things were completely all the same things, even when they, you know, right, repeated a country. So, yeah, anyway, there's yep. a little a little clue. So, there's always a salutation at the beginning of the name, and this one says Gutentag. So, oh, obviously from <laughs> Albania. <laughs> of sad that we know where it is but anyways I'm ready to crack into it all right let's open it up Albanian snacks let's go <laughs> yay what? we were just teasing Germany. of course Guten Tag is German obviously we're so excited for a while if you didn't know this we got a little German food subscription box and we thought it was going to be more snacks and stuff a lot of it was um, ready prepared things yeah and to tell you the truth we still have some things from those boxes that we're going to turn into meals I think we're going to be doing a German foods mukbang or some kind of something so and we definitely have some other snacks that we picked up when we were at international food stores so if oh, yeah. you love uh, seeing us try, try things from Germany a few more videos coming, more coming. soon okay yep. all right all right, so we've arranged. We're gonna eat savory to sweet, just like we always do. And some of these are familiar. Yes, I do think that we've had a German box from Snack Crate now that we've seen this. And then they always include like a sheet with fun facts on it. And the first one is prison escape is not illegal in Germany. And I was like, I remember reading that yeah, before. Yeah, from before. Yeah. So, but some of these things don't look familiar. So we're gonna go ahead and go through. Uh, if you are watching in Germany or have visited, let us know in the comments what of these things you've tried before and what you thought of them yourself. Yep. Let's start with good old Lay's, right? Yes, these crispy potato chips have the perfect balance of bell pepper spice and fresh potato goodness, making them irresistible for any snacker. We'll see about that. Yes. I do oh, remember do trying I do remember trying this before and we all liked it. And we commented about the word paprika and somebody let us know that that just means like bell pepper. Pepper? Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Those are those are so good. Mm-hmm. Definitely like barbecue chip vibes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mmm. Wow, those are good. Yeah. Not that we don't ever love chocolate baked things, but man, you want to tug at my heartstrings a little bit? Yeah. Give me a good chip or crisp from another country. You know, we always Whoa. we always love getting a nice new chip or crisp and I think a lot of times those impress us more than anything. We have bell peppers here. Get it together Lay's America. Yeah. <laughs> we Lays want America. those too. That, that's awesome. 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 All okay. Right. Start enough. Good. Now this does not look familiar to me. No. That is new for I us. I think I'd remember this because um, it it not looks strange, but very different. I mean, it's memorable. That's what I mean. It's called Bi Fi Original Carraza. Calling all pizza lovers. Yes. This pocket sized pizza has a soft dough surrounding a zesty combination of fresh tomato and cheese filling. This is so different. We get things like this that are sweet, mm -hmm. 
but savory? No, nothing Never. like that. I can feel the cheese in the middle. I want to make <laughs> sure, I want to make sure that I get the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh can't. I can't. Okay. They did not say that there was like meat on the inside, at mm -hmm. least in the description. Mm-hmm. Meat in the middle. Meat in the middle. That's not bad. Kind of just gives like cold pizza vibes. Yeah. Who doesn't love that? Are you a cold pizza eater? I am, John. No. <laughs> Sometimes, like if it's just pepperoni, it's fine. But anything else, no, it has to be heated up. And this tastes like the meat on the inside is pepperoni yeah that's yeah. good though but the chew in it it almost is like if pepperoni and beef jerky had a baby something like that yeah or like um like summer sausage type yeah because it's thicker than just like yeah. a single pepperoni yeah i like that and not only do i like that i like the idea of it i am much more of a savory person i mean i'm sweet too <laughs> but I'm but I love savory snacks, crackers and chips and crisps and all that kind of stuff. Cheese and crackers, that's my go-to. I sure. would love to have things like that all yeah. the time readily available cuz I don't always want chocolate or something sweet, you know. Absolutely. That's yummy. Okay. Now, next. Nuts. I'm going to try these because they have some next. nuts in it. Oh, you're going to love these. They're barbecue nuts. This might have been one of them that we tried previously. Sorry. And I think I loved them. We'll give it another shot. Crunchy roasted peanuts coated in a smoky barbecue flavor. A great on-the-go snack and pairs well with an ice-cold beverage of your choice. Well, we have that. Yep. <coughs> I think I All right. inhaled peanut dust. Yeah. I have a nut allergy if you're new, so I'm not going to... I can sit here, but I'm not going to participate in nut eating. Down the hatch. Ooh, they sound crunchy. Mm -hmm. Extra crunchy. Yeah, it does have a coating around the outside. But it's not super hard. Some of those coated, like, peanuts have, they're hard. Mmm. You like good. them? Mm-hmm. I like it. Well, you can put it in your little snack bag for later. All right, that's it for savory, I believe. Right? Thanks. Yeah. Do you want to go first? Let's rank. Lay's paprika chips, number one for me. Then the pizza, then the knickknack peanuts. Hmm. Almost in the exact, or it is a, in the exact order that we tried them. Well, I'm not going to rank these, but I know I will like them. Um, I think that's my order as well. However, high, 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 high marks for something so different yeah unique yeah nice. i really really like that i i enjoyed it and i love the idea of it i would like it meatless i think just loaded with some cheese mm -hmm. and there is sauce on the inside yeah which is nice yeah love that but man you killed it with these chips let's see how they Crisps. taste again ah! mm. yummy oh, good. all of this will get eaten some of you ask well, what happens to the stuff after we eat it? Generally. Usually John gobbles it all down. <laughs> yep. True story. So now we have a couple of fruity things and a couple of chocolatey things. Which do you want to do next? Unfortunately, there are several things in here that Laura can't try. So yeah, obviously the, I don't know if it's knoppers, knoppers, whatever. I've had these before. Let us know. Is the case silent? We're so curious. And we do get this brand here. We don't yeah. see a lot of it, but we do. We can get it here. This is something I sometimes get for you. Because yeah. if you didn't know this, John loves wafer and that oh, yeah. sort of thing. He loves those. And this has hazelnut in it, so Laura mm -hmm. can't have that. This big corny or corny big, whatever, uh, also has nuts in it. Well, just try what you want. This um, ice, is this coffee? Is this cereal? See. What is this? That's <gasps> Canuda cake, uh, some sort of crispy bar. Uh, confectionery bars made up of several layers that complement each other in amazing ways. Some crunchy, some smooth. This snack has it all, but it doesn't say what's in it. 
What? Is it? What's in there? It could just be chocolate. It which looks would like be something very good. John would love. Well, see, I saw that picture and I was like, is that a cup of coffee and coffee beans or is that cereal? It kind of seems she like needs, cereal. It does look like cereal. She needs her glasses. It smells like a cereal bar. Oh my gosh. Here's another wow. thing. Wow. Look at how thick that layer is between. That layer is thick. Yeah, this smells good too. Doesn't it? It does. I, I'm just taking a bite. You better. You know It'll it's explode gonna happen. everywhere. <laughs> John loves that kind of stuff. Wafer and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The wafer is really good. Fresh. Crisp. And it's not sickening sweet. It's just nice. <laughs> it's just it's just nice. The chocolate is it's um rich and almost like it's not dark chocolate. Well, I don't know if it is, but it tastes deeper flavor than like too. what we get. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Don't you like that one? I do. That's yummy. Dangerous. Okay. Now you want to try the other one that's oh, similar sure. that I can't try. So this one. Let's see. This snack features layers of crunchy wafer, a smooth milk cream, and a rich hazelnut spread, all working together in perfect flavor harmony. You know what I thought of, Snack Crate, if you're listening? <laughs> you go through all of this, right? Which is great to give us little facts and um, a little cheat sheet about what each thing is. You know what would be great? How to pronounce each thing as yeah. well, because yeah. we always have to ask our viewers, which is great, but not everyone has the amazing subscribers that we have, I'm sure, and they would like to right. know how to pronounce things. Oh, that does look very similar. Can I smell it? About the same size. Yep. Uh, multiple layers in here. It looks like, you know, hazelnut, obviously, that milk cream. It looks like there's also maybe some chocolate on it too. Yeah. Some chocolate in there. We so. never get. Go ahead. We never get a milk cream layer like that. I can't think of anything that we get that has a layer like that. And I wish we did. Because sometimes you don't want chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. You want an escape from it, right? Yeah. Delicious as usual. Yeah. Does it taste different? Can you tell? Mm. Like from what we get in our store. In other words, are the ones at our store imports or do we make them here? I wonder. Next time we're at the store, I'm going to have to look. That's a good question. I do not know the answer. And you don't know if it tastes any different. It's, it's been a while since i It's I've not one, one of those things that you get all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I just, I just don't know. Now what? One of these two things. I feel like I remember this. Isn't this a little marble cake? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I remember liking this. I feel like we've had it before, or it could have been from another country. Well, this like a little snack. Cake. This listed as being called Marmor Kuchen. I don't know. I apologize for the pronunciation. This decadent treat features moist chocolate and vanilla sponge cake, swirled together to create the perfect mix of flavors in every bite. Oh, you're too late. My finger! <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like the coating on the outside, that chocolate. That chocolate is rich as it wants to be. Oh my gosh, that's good. Is that's good? the kind of thing. All I want now is a glass of milk. <clears throat> the, Ooh, that's good. The cake part of it seems like a nice, um, you know, typical, like, sponge a uh, snack cake sponge that you would yeah. get in the store but it's good so here's what i want to say there are some snack cakes little debbie in particular makes some amazing snack cakes that we love zebra cake rolls are my favorite right those are good vanilla rolled up cake with a little chocolate drizzle so it's mostly vanilla but a little hint of chocolate that's my favorite John really likes I love zebra cakes, so so nutty bars. Nutty bars yeah. They do strawberry shortcake rolls. They do all kinds of them. But you know how people go crazy for Twinkies and we're always like, eh, mm. eh. this is feels like their version of Twinkies. And that's so sad for us. 
Yeah. Well, and there are like other snack cake companies that make something similar to Twinkies, and that but do it better. <laughs> they do it better. Yeah. But I don't know if there there was one, and I don't remember if it was a Twinkie or something else that was chocolate covered like that. It was like a sponge cake that was chocolate covered. Mm -hmm. Definitely had cream in the center. Those are so good. These these are amazing. They put Twinkies to shame is what I mean by that. That's yeah. Yum, 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 yum. And like I said, that chocolate coating is so, it's almost like fudge, not in texture, but in deep, rich flavor. Love it. Love it. So this is, uh, I don't know, corny big or big corny. I don't know. It just says corny on here. Big corny, that's for you. And Erdnus Skoko. Again, I apologize. The perfect bite for those who love peanuts and chocolate. I this crunchy cereal bar is ideal for hungry snackers looking for a big flavor. What are you doing up in that? You can't eat that. I want to smell it. Oh, this is the kind of thing I love. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. Well, well, that's all happened. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> In morbid news, I've already decided, you know, asteroid headed towards Earth. I've already decided my you know, what I'm going to do to take things in my own hands is going to be me and a big old bag of peanut butter cups. No way. <laughs> we're going to survive and we're going to rule the world. Okay. That's got to be good, right? That is delicious. Now give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. It's like our, um, they call them like Quaker oat bars, mm. but... I think it's better. Like breakfast bars, morning cereal kind of stuff? Yeah, and usually, um, like ours here don't have peanuts in it. Like some do, but usually like bars like this do not. So I like these. Does it have oatmeal? Peanuts. I think so. It's got oats in it, yeah. I love bars that taste really oaty. Oaty. But the okay. weird thing is it says corny, and I'm not sure it has, I'm not sure it has corn in it. Maybe it's just its name. Maybe it means something Possibly. different. Possibly. Okay, next. All right, let me find my spot here. This looks like it could be savory or sweet, so we could have missed one. Ah, Leibniz Butter Keks. Famous for each having 52 teeth rimming the edge of each cookie. Ah. These crisp biscuits are rich, buttery, and incredibly delicious. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Ah, there we go. I think we've had these before. Oh, and yes, delicious. and they're the kind of thing that you want. Oh, sorry. Like, oh, you want to have some tea. Oh, yeah, we could just share, couldn't we? Nah. I already got it out. Touched it. Might as well eat it. You're going to probably touch the rest of them. Yeah, the, you want oh, tea man, or milk or so coffee good. or something with this kind of stuff, right? It smells so, yeah, it smells so good. If you have eaten these before, what do you like to dunk them in? Ready, go. Tea. Right? Yeah, tea, milk, coffee, anything is delicious. Mm -hmm. I love how thin they Meant are. Meant to be dumped. Okay. Thin and crisp. Everything else is like sweet, fruity stuff. So let's rank these. I'll go first. How about that? Since I couldn't eat half of it, <clears throat> I couldn't eat that. And I couldn't eat. Oh boy. Technical issues. Um, hmm. That's my order. This cake I'm gonna be dreaming about. <laughs> I love this cake. That little marble cake. Yum, 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 yum. I really liked this too. Yeah, that's I good. really did like this. This is just like gooey and moist and yeah. But this is also very nice. This we can get things just like this. Similar, right? yeah, very similar, yeah. So um you know, it's fine. It's it's plain. It's not. It doesn't blow me away in the same way that this does. And this really makes me wish we had a beverage that we could dunk in that. That's my order. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna put the corny number one here. I really like that. Mm. That was good. Um, this chocolate wafer is number two. Um, 
number three. And, well, that's the rest of my order right there. Okay. So, yeah, I loved it all. It was really good. All right. And the good news is we're going to be out and about today and like for the rest of the day. And we usually pack a few snacks. I guess we don't have to look. We can just That's right. pile our snack crate, you know, pile it all back in the box and take that with. Okay. So let's save hard candy bits for the end. Yep. Give them I up. remember these. Me too. Do I want to what? Do you want a fun fact? Yeah, give me a fun fact. Over 800 million currywursts are eaten in Germany each year. This widely popular. Wait, 800 million? million yeah, almost wow. a billion. This widely popular sausage even has its own museum in Berlin. I believe it. We had a little German fest and you went and had something, remember? Yeah. What did I have? I don't know, but Some it, sort of sausage. it was winter. Remember. Yeah, um, it was cold. It was like I mean, it was cold. Christmas time. I yeah, think it was. yeah. It was like a German Christmas festival outside. It was fun to be outside and be all bundled up, but not for very long. <laughs> if I remember these correctly, aren't they a little bit sour? Or am I dreaming? Some of them were. Let's see what the thing says here. Um, I don't know that it says anything. But oh, what I remember, they're little beads and it's kind of like cereal. Tiny little bits of puffed corn with a light fruity and slightly sour flavor that literally pops in your mouth as they hit your tongue. Okay. What I remember too about this last time is <laughs> this, I have the same knock that I don't like the packaging. I feel like no. it's too long and too easy to spill. <laughs> yeah, it seems like if you breathe on this thing wrong, it's gonna split rip down, down the, the middle, side. and then you're in trouble. You gotta everywhere. put that in a little baggie, right? <clears throat> Plus, you gotta like eat it right away. Otherwise, it will go stale. I think. I think it has a little bit. More than a little bit. Mm. <laughs> That's the thing. We don't know how long. Snack Crate has had this stuff. They're definitely stale. I love the flavor and I remember really liking them last time. There you go. No, that's yours. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold them this whole time. Oh, uh, I remember loving those the last, yeah. well, I don't know about loving, but I remember really enjoying that. It's so different from last time, but that is the kind of thing. It is humid as heck. Yeah. around here and right so trap some things just don't hold as well you know what i mean guess who loves i've told you this before we both enjoy gummies we both enjoy sour i love sour my favorite kind of sour or gummy thing is the kind that has like a little fondant a little cream stuff in the middle and I, in particular, love the ones that are all different flavors, little tiny bites. These are my favorite kind of things. They, love it. Those things are great. Oh, it has the flavors on the on the back. So let's try to read the words in German oh. and see if we can figure out what the flavors are. Okay. When you're done telling me. Oh, I'm done. Gonna, yeah. Well, it describes flavors in here, so. Okay, so don't do it yet. All There's right. a rainbow. Here, you better... I feel like the first word's gotta be apple or similar. Yeah, it's like apple, so yeah, I think that's apple. Brombeer, brombeer. Mm. Mm, berry, I, you know what I'm hoping for? Cause it's dark blue. Blueberry. Blueberry. Is it blueberry? I guess we'll find out. Um, then there's the yellow one, which it says it's tropical, which I assume it would be tropical flavor. Hopefully pineapple, fingers crossed. And then there's Erd beer, which maybe the beer, beer, what I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. Please. I know, <laughs> but, um, it's the only way it's the only way it's okay to tell us in the comments too, how to pronounce any of these things. Yeah. So I assume like you did with the blue one that the last part of there is like for berry Yeah. or, you know, that's, it's B E E R E, so it's probably berry, you know. Mm. But, so maybe strawberry. Yeah, maybe strawberry. Okay. So let's, let's read the thing. Yeah, and Haribo, you know, always doing their thing, and it says rainbow. Is that an end? Rainbow saver. Sour. Oh yeah, sour. I really need to wear my glasses every once in a while. It does look like saver though, because it's a U though. 
soft and sweet rainbow gummies featuring the tropical fruity flavors of blackberry. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, I love blackberry things because that's kind of like blueberry. You don't see it very often right, yeah. in a candy or sweet. But also, that's not really a tropical flavor. No. Right? Indeed. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Go ahead. Um, strawberry. Also, I mean, more tropical than blackberry, I would say, but also I don't think of it as a tropical fruit. Right. And green apple. Not tropical again. With a surprising sour twist. Okay. Okay. But well, they don't say what yellow is? No. Which is the one that's probably tropical? Right. <laughs> Snack crate. Get it together. Haribo, get it together. I don't think it's Haribo. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah, because Snack crate. Snack made crate made that, yeah. <laughs> All right. Move over, everyone. Move over, bacon. All right, let's go yellow because that's the mystery. All right. Smells delicious. Cheers. Cheers. Good. <laughs> Good. But. I detect a little mango. Oh, you do? <laughs> mm -hmm. Your mango detector is on, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Feels like a tropical mi mix, but there's that hint of something that I don't like about mango. Probably not. Yep. Do you get it too? Yep. I do. All right. Strawberry. Strawberry. I think I'm not going to eat that. I think I'm going to take a bite. This is, these are like good sized bites, but hard to talk. Yeah. Mm. They're a really good um, texture. <laughs> they are sour. Mm -hmm. They have that stuff on the outside like Sour Patch Kids. Mmm, that's good. Mm -hmm. You're right, the texture is very good. Mm -hmm. um, the f strawberry flavor is good on this. I say time and time again, I usually don't like strawberry flavoring candies, but that's good. That creaminess on the inside, very yeah. delicious. Okay, let's go green apple because I want to end on blackberry, I think. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sometimes in doing these international boxes, we get actual apple flavor. Mm-hmm. But more often, it's green apple, yeah, which is way tarter, right? Mm -hmm. um, I wish we got more like red apple flavor candy stuff because I really enjoy that. But I guess when you're making like a sour mix, green apple makes more sense. I like green apple all right. I love green apples like in baking and such. But in candy, green apple is Blue raspberry and green apple in the States are way overdone. Yeah, right. Way, way overdone. I think so, too. So, um, I like it. I just, you know, we can get it. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, apple flavor. Yeah. So, yeah. As far as that goes, yeah. Sure. Cheers. Cheers. That's the winner for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Woo! Mm-hmm. She's sour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the candy's kind of sour, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are good. I like them. I mean, no surprise. These are mayom. Mayom. Blocks. Blocks. And I don't know what those words mean. I mean, mayom looks like the brand, but there is a little lemon Whoa. pictured. Yeah, and this has a raspberry. Raspberry. The, well, everybody knows that these are the top selling taffy in Germany. Mmm. These we cubes of taffy. chewy delight feature the mouth watering flavors of cherry, raspberry, lemon, orange, and cola. What? Snack yeah. crate? Snack you crate. did me dirty. Drop the ball on the cola flavor. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I would have loved to have got up. Ooh. Mm. Huh. That is like 
You know how we always say, sometimes lemon goes wrong. Sometimes lemon is like furniture polish. This is a very like natural tasting, very tart, like eating a lemon kind yeah. of lemon flavor. Like very, very well done. Very well good natural me, flavor. Making my mouth water. Yeah, that's a great lemon flavor. Yeah, it is. Hopefully the raspberry is the same. Mm-hmm. So, they are in like the starburst realm. realm. That same kind of thing. <laughs> Smaller squares, similar to. Mm -hmm. Yep. There is. Thank you. Raspberry. You're welcome. Cheers. Interesting. The flavor on the raspberry seems a little more subtle, I think. I expected it like mm -hmm. kind of hit me with sour. Mm -hmm. That also seems like a more natural flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we have these. Okay. What do these say? Yeah, what are those? Mm. It looks like these three look the same, and this one looks a little bit different. Not really sure how to pronounce this again, you know, again. Hmm. A H O J, and then bonbons. So. Okay. These are sweet and fruity heart candies, may, may look innocent, but prepare your mouth for the fizzy surprise of a mm. lifetime when you bite down. Fizzy surprise. Does it say the flavors? Never said. Never said anything about flavors. Nope. Never. This one is. So one is much oh. more yellow. Yeah. Oh. And, and this <laughs> look almost looks like it could be. Uh, you can see the tube in the middle too, where there's something in there. This almost looks like this could be natural <laughs> apple flavor. Okay, enough. Just <laughs> try a different one. I wanted the yellow one. The nice thing about having antique furniture is we love it. And this this furniture set has a story. The thing I hate about it is John's like looking for his candy and it's like squeak, 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 squeak. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. It's one of those <laughs> where as you um, get through it, it uh, lets stuff out. <laughs> It is a filled candy. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. Yeah. I had something similar when I was growing up as a kid. You know how your grandparents always had like hard candies in a bowl? Mm -hmm. And they had the ones that had the strawberry wrapper mm -hmm. on it. That's what it reminds me of. Mm-hmm. What's the flavor though, do you think? I don't know. It's good, whatever it is. It is good. I'm gonna sit it over here so I can talk though. All right, let's rank sweet stuff. Those cereal things, I know I liked them last time, but unfortunately they are stale. So those are gonna be last for me. I'm not gonna get them back out here and lay them on the table yeah. because then there's gonna be a mess. Um, yeah, they're last for me too. You know what? I actually think I'm gonna put this number one. I love this kind of stuff and it's, uh, they don't do much of this anymore. I really love that. And that, oh, this is difficult for me <laughs> because I do love these and we can get things like this and this here, but the flavors of these are so different. They're good. Um, I think I'm going to go that and I really do like these, but again, I feel like Haribo makes these here. Yeah, maybe something different very flavors, similar. but yeah, something very similar. So, but I loved all of the sweet stuff. Yeah. I am shocked, really. I that really, I didn't put these first? Yeah, yeah. I really, I really love them. those. But I have to give high marks to, I can't believe how natural, this is like sucking on an actual lemon. <laughs> a good suck a lemon. With a little bit of sweet. You know what I mean? Like the flavor's just done really well. I really like that. And these are really different. This is, this reminds me, it's very like nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm choked on a candy here. All right. Um, all right. My order is exactly the reverse. opposite. Okay. Yeah. The candies are good, but you know what? They're just hard candies. 
With fizzy stuff. Nothing special. Yeah, fizzy stuff. The fizzy stuff's nice. It's plus different. It, plus, it tried to kill me. So. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, what were your some of your favorite things in the box? Like top three things in the box. Um, again, I really love the Lay's uh, paprika chips, um, the wafery things, and the the oat bar. Okay. Oat and peanut bar. Those were really good. Mine would be those paprika crisp chip things. That marble little snack cake. Mm. That, yeah, I'm gonna be seeing that again soon. And I think maybe these fizzy candies, because I love them and they do remind me um, of like childhood. Although, as a child, I don't think I really liked them. But I do now, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Anyway, so that was fun. Do you have anything else you want to tell us? Let's see. Bavarians have a tradition called... Uh-oh. <laughs> Frühschappen? Schappen? I don't know. That means having a glass of beer before noon. They claim it aids digestion and boosts the metabolism. Hmm. Yeah, let's see, what else we got? Oh, despite its name, the game Chinese Checkers was invented in Germany in 1892. Interesting, so then how did it get its name? Snack Crate, I wanna know. You left me hanging, Snack Crate, now I have to go ask you know who. Well, I, won't, I won't ask her now because then, that is a pet peeve of mine. When somebody says, hey, G-O-O-G-L-E in a video, and then your, oh, our, yeah. your phone goes off and our yeah. mini home goes off, so I won't say it, but now I feel like I have to find out. Yes, Interesting. indeed. Okay, indeed. that was another snack crate. Another great box, so fun as always. We are looking into getting a new subscription box, so if you know of one, I know last time we had a couple of suggestions, so if you know of a, a subscription box you wanna see us do, or a country that you would like to see Indeed. us try foods from, let us know down in the comments of this video. Come find us on social media if you haven't already. Great place to find us is Instagram. Check out our stories over there. We do little mini videos. Uh, we'll post pictures of new products that we see. And our cat. And our cat makes much more appearances over on Instagram. And our Instagram feeds to Facebook, so if that's easier for you, come find us there. Uh, we also have a vlog channel if you're into that sort of thing where we're going to be showing our side hustles. We show you stuff we're doing th throughout the day and Rookie is, the cat, is very much involved in the vlog channel as well. Yes. Or if you are into video games, we have some board game stuff too, but video games mostly on our game channel. Come find us. Links to all the channels will be in the comments of this and every video. Now, if you love trying new things or foods from Germany, which, oh my gosh, now I want to go eat at a German restaurant. Oh, I like snacks, yes. but nothing compares to me to like actual food from a place, you know what I'm saying? I would love to find a really good German restaurant. Yeah. It's so difficult to find. They have them in Chicago. If we ever have time when we're in Chicago to actually go to a restaurant. We, you know, we, last time it was all about the concert. So right. anyway, maybe we'll do that the next time we go. That'd be great. Uh, or us. Or, or the video. video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.